Okay, uh, you know, draw me back uh, uh, with nearly the last bit of the uh, case preparation uh, process. Um, what it is is I'm now going to sort these cases uh, by weight, individual weight. I'm going to uh, get them in groups like I did the bullets um, into groups of varying weights. What this will allow me to do will uh, get a better estimate of uh, the volumetric measurement inside. So more uh, working on the same principle that uh, the, the closer the volumes of the inside of the cases, the more consistent they, sh they should be from uh, shot to shot in that category. Um, there will be a bit of variance between the highest and the lowest. I haven't measured any yet, so we'll find out as we go along. I've got the first 100 here to do. I thought I'd do the first sort of 10 15 for the camera. Uh, so this is the nearly the last step of the case preparation. The all we've got to do now is um, resize these just before prior to putting the primers in. So um, this is uh, I'm going to each case I'll, I'll wait. I've got two cameras running here at the moment. I'll see if I can get them both working together in conjunction with each other. Um, I've got my scale zeroed, and they're reading down to two one hundredths of a grain. So I mean they should be fairly accurate. What I'll do is I'll, I'm going to batch uh, batch my cases in groups of half um, grain intervals. So I don't know what they what they weigh. So I've got a piece of paper here. If I need to rip it up and make various little groups, that's what I'll do. This will help me sort out my match brass from my uh, blow off brass. Because uh, as obviously if you're doing all this, you, your match brass want to be the most consistent and the closest to its partner in the firing cycle. So anyway, we'll start off with zero. We'll measure the first one, see where we start off at. So it's 195. I'll just slide that over there. That'll be the 195 group. Actually, what we'll do is just quickly. I'm going to have paper all over the place. That'll be the 195 group. Can you see that on, just on camera? Hundred ninety five point five. Yep, I'll stick that in the same category. After a while, after we've done a few, we'll start to see um, that's hundred ninety five point five. Oh, up. Uh. All right. You see that there? As I say, after a while, after we've done a few, we'll see. Um, what the average is. It's a laborious old job, like a lot of this process, but it's all part of the game. Just make sure the zero the scales come back to zero every time. take long to fly through these. They're all confelling within half a grain. So far. No hot really low well there's since I say that we get one.
keep an eye on the zero that comes back to zero. Tends to the grain is so minuscule, but if we're being anal, you know, you got to stick to the rules. So you can see a little bit of variance in the zero there. All that is is a bit of draft. I mean, I live in an old cottage, so you're going to get a little bit of draft. As long as you don't get big swings in your readings. Right, I'll crack on, I'll turn the cameras off now because this is like watching paint dry. I'll crack on and uh, I'll come back to you when I'm getting uh, all 200 cases done. Right guys, uh, you can see you, you joined me on my last dozen now. You can see I've got uh, two or three um, significant weight groups which is pleasing because that gives me a nice quantity of any one measurement for match brass or practice brass. So I'll just finish these off while I'm talking to you. And then what I'm aiming to do is I'll reset up the camera and uh, I'll show you the uh, ratio of the different weights of the 200 cases as well as actually 197 cases because three of them are with the rifle where, where who's made with the rifle smith as it's known back to good proof. I'll just check that one again. Did I do that one wrong? Yeah, it's not concentrating that is. This is how I got this is five to do. The heaviest I had is 196.4 and the lightest one I had is 194.2 so it's about two and a bit great two and a half grains difference between the highest and the lowest which after all the work we've done to them I didn't don't think it's too bad you for a sporting rifle I mean you could just shoot whatever case you like but for competition at range you know, you, as I said many times, that will make a difference. Right, last one, and then I'll uh, re angle the camera and I'll show you the groups we've got. See, that's 144.4. Just finish on the low one, just double check that zero there. Yeah, that one goes there. Right, guys, I'll uh, reposition the camera and uh, I'll show you the uh, different. Uh, quantities of each weight. We've got 194 here, between 194 and uh, 194 to 194.5, 194.5 to 194.9, 195 to 195.5 and then the heavy ones 195.5 to 195.59 and then 160 high. So we've got four, but I'll show you, I'll re we uh, position the camera that'll be a lot easier to explain it. Okay chaps, just as a final um, picture to show you what we've done. Um, all the brass has now been uh, segregated into its weights. You can see um, the three main bulks. Obviously this will be uh, the biggest amount here which is handy because uh, shooting F class over a weekend you need roughly I know so 110, 120 prepared, uh, preloaded rounds and there should be enough there to give me that these four and these two on the left I will discard them or use them for things like uh, uh, testing like for a new AL gauge I'll, I'll, I'll ream the hole out on one of these to make gauge but I'll cover that later um, these other two lots of cases I will use them for practice loads 
and um, blow offs and that sort of thing but these will be my main batch um, I don't know how many there is there but there's a good how many we've got seven there's a good hundred there uh, which will uh, get me in that region okay guys um, as far as I'm concerned now these are now ready for priming so we'll uh, reset up the video and we'll start priming